All right, so let's talk about hydrates and what they are. Um, hydrates is actually a compound with a specific number of water molecules bound to its atoms, the atoms inside. So it's kind of like these water molecules are trapped within a salt. A salt, don't forget, is an ionic, ionic compound. So what does that actually kind of look like? If we were to picture it and draw it up here, ionic compounds we know are cations and um, anions kind of met, um, att attracted to each other. And so when they're actually being formed, what happens is these water molecules get trapped within there and get, and get really attracted to these positive and negative charges within it and they get trapped within the salt. And the number of water molecules that get trapped in comparison to the actual molecule, the ratio of atoms, is dependent on the salt itself. So if you're actually to look at a hydrate um, to see what it looks like, um, hydrates are crystals just like ionic structures are. However, they do have like a blue color to them. They might have like an iridescent color to them sometimes. But they have a characteristic blue color that makes it the water pretty much seen when you look at the crystal itself. So this is an example of what a hydrate might look like if you find one. Um, all right, if you were to name hydrates, uh, because there are a ratio of water molecules to salts, um, you want to uh, be able to, and they're not bound to each other, like these guys aren't bonded to anything, but they're just trapped within the crystal. So we want to kind of recognize that. So by doing that, um, if we had one molecule, for example, one hydrogen, uh, sorry, water molecule for every uh, one salt, we would just represent it this way and saying that we have it, this little dot tells us it's a ratio for every one water molecule you have one salt. So if we were to name this, we would name this compound ammonium oxalate monohydrate. So we'd name the salt just like we always would, ammonium oxalate, uh, and then we'd say, all right, we have one uh, water molecule attached to it, so mono, like we would for our covalent compounds, um, use the same prefixes. And this little dot tells us it's trapped within there, however, it's not bonded to it, anything in there. Um, if you had two for every salt, you had this, for example, calcium chloride, uh, you would say the same thing, calcium chloride, instead of mono, you'd say di, dihydrate, and you'd represent that by this little dot here, which does not mean multiply. Um, this little dot tells us we just have two for every one of these within the, within the structure, so two uh, hydrates. Uh, so on and so forth, so you get to three, sodium acetate, trihydrate, you represent that with a dot and a three. Um, so on and so forth, and use the same prefix as you would do if you were naming uh, covalent compounds. And those are hydrates in a nutshell.